بسم الله والابن والروح القدس الاله الواحد الامين من الفاضل ومن السن ومن الروح السبيرت ومن الروح امين Last Sunday, we had a big celebration, and that Sunday was Pentecost. And I said last Sunday that I will be explaining to you on this week, this Sunday, today, about the Feast of of Pentecost, the Feast of Pentecost. أحد الماضي اللي مر علينا كان أحد العنصرة أحد مهم جدا لأن نحنا وخليني أقولكم شغلة كتير مهمة يريد من هذا أوراي يحتاج دو هذا الكلام بعين الاعتبار إنه أحد العنصرة لازم يكون عيد لكل المسيحيين وما يقعدوا ببيوتهم ويعتبروا ان العيد هو بس عيد الميلاد والشانيني وقيامة المسيح انا بقول هذا الحكي من كل قلبي لان العنصرة هو عيد مهم مثل ما القيامة مهمة الشعانين أيضا مهمة وأيضا ميلاد المسيح مهم. Pentecost is important as the birth of Christ is. Pentecost is very important as we celebrate Palm Sunday and the Holy Week and the Resurrection of Christ. Unfortunately, a lot of people who live in the West where we live here, Pentecost to them is just a day on the calendar. It shouldn't be like this, brothers and sisters. Pentecost should be a very important day for you. Because on this day, on this day the Holy Spirit came down on the disciples and St. Peter, he said his famous homily on that day. And on that day, you know, 3,000 people, they got baptized and became a Christian because they felt the gift of the Holy Spirit. 3,000 on the same day. Awil yawm, min ahad al-ansara wa hulul al-ansara al-talamiz, ثلاثة آلاف شخص تعمد وآمن في المسيح والقديس بطرس عمل خطابه الشهير وقال لهم خليني أقول من هو المسيح يمكن اليوم نحن بحاجة نعرف من أول وجديد من هو المسيح كثير I think we also need to know who Christ is. We think we know him. We think we know him. But I tell you, brothers and sisters, from my personal experience and from my vocation and what I do as a priest, no matter what you say, how much you know him, allow me to say this to you. You don't know him enough. You don't know him enough. Brothers and sisters, when you say Pentecost, it means the Holy Spirit in everybody's mind. The word Pentecost means, it's a Greek word by the way, Pentecost means exactly what it means, 50 days. That's all it means. It does not mean the Lord Jesus, the Holy Spirit, doesn't mean nothing. The word Pentecost means 50 days. <coughs> Repeat after me. 
The word Pentecost means, the word Pentecost means 50 days. 50 days. That's it. فإذا كلمة العنصرة أو Pentecost للغة اليونانية وكلنا بنستعملها تعني 50 يوم. Brothers and sisters, 50 days after the resurrection. 50 days after the resurrection. Now, before I go on, let me say this to you. Pay attention. We see that God, the Lord Jesus, is talking about the gift of the Holy Spirit in two different places. The first time, where do we see that? After his resurrection. The Lord Jesus walked in on the disciples on the first day. He walked in and said, Peace be to you. Salam. Peace be to you. And he said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. And he breathed at them. He went like this. He breathed at the disciples. The same way Abuna Breathe on the kids when they, they get baptized the day of their baptism. We breathe on them three times and we say, in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. The Lord Jesus breathed and said, Receive the Holy Spirit. So why did you ever ask yourself why then they need Pentecost? They received it. If you ever ask, and you should ask, and you should wonder. They already got it. The Lord Jesus said, receive the Holy Spirit. Receive. But the second time we see the Lord Jesus talking on the mountain of olives. On the mountain of olives before he ascended to heaven. And he said to the disciples, do not leave Jerusalem till I send you, till I send you. The Holy Spirit. The good comfort. We call the gospel, the gospel calls the gift, the Holy Spirit, the good comforter. Say, the good comforter. The good comforter. When you hear the word good comforter, it means the Holy Spirit. So the Lord said, do not leave Jerusalem. Stay in Jerusalem till I send you from my Father, the Good Comforter. So you will wear a great power in you. You're going to wear a good power in you, a great power. And you're going to go teach everyone about me. And you're going to teach every person, every person you're going to see. You're going to talk about me and you're going to baptize them. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. But do not leave Jerusalem. Don't go out of Jerusalem till I send you the Comforter. Mahala Yutrub min al Talamiz, Bul Rabbi Yasu al Masih ala Jabal al Zaytun, Yawm al Saud, Mahala Yutrub min kun Orushalim, La Abatil kun al Muazzi. 
سألته ليش أبدون المعزة؟ طب المسيح نفسه المخلص نفخ فيهم وقال لهم خذوا الروح القدس خذوا الروح القدس The Lord, the Savior himself, he breathed and said, Receive ye the gift of the Holy Spirit. So brothers and sisters, now it's time for me to give you the answers. You're waiting for the answer. The answer is, the first time when the Lord Jesus breathed in, in the upper room, when he breathed and said, Receive ye the gift of the Holy Spirit, He's appointing them, he's ordaining them to become the bishop of the church. Because the gift of the Holy Spirit is going to give them the office of episcopacy, which means to become a bishop. And that was the first gift they have received. They're no longer fishermen. They're no longer just only disciples, now they are bishop of the world. The first bishop of the world are the disciples of the Lord Jesus. So they became the bishop to give us ordination. So they could make priests, deacons, and build churches. Because all this that I just mentioned requires the gift of the Holy Spirit. You see, what do you mean? I'll give you an example. فإذا الرب يسوع المسيح عندما نفخ بالتلاميذ وقال خذوا الروح القدس بهذاك الوس ساعة أصبحوا التلاميذ أساقفة. اليوم نحن بنقول مطران أساقفة أساقفة المسيح. صار عندهم نعمة الأسقفية بيقدروا يرسموا شمامسة وهيك شفنا بأعمال الرسل بالإصحاح ستة رسموا لأول مرة سبع شمامسة وحكيت عن هذا الموضوع أنا من شي شهر تقريبا أو أقل The gift of the Holy Spirit Where do we see it? When a man comes in to become a priest, when the bishop lays his hand on him inside the altar in front of the holy table, and he gives him the gift of the Holy Spirit to become a priest, a Buddha, a father. No gift, no priesthood. Also, where do we see it? Every liturgy. We see it when you see me saying, once again, we offer unto you the spiritual worship without shedding of blood. We ask, pray, entreat you, send down the Holy Spirit up on us and up on the gift here presented. Every liturgy, the priest prays to send down the gift of the Holy Spirit so he could make the bread, the body, and the wine to be the blood of the Lord Jesus. That's another gift that the God, the Lord Jesus, has given us to use in our daily lives. Where also do you see the gift? When we baptize you. When we baptize you inside the font, you receive the gift of the Holy Spirit and you become a follower of Christ. Repeat after me. When I get baptized, I get baptized. Inside, the font, inside the font, I receive, I receive the, gift the gift of the Holy Spirit. Of the Holy Spirit. That's why I said last Sunday, there is difference between those who are baptized and those who are not baptized. Big difference. في فرق بين المتعمد وغير المتعمد حكيت عن هذا الشيء أنا أسبوع الماضي وحكيت عن نعمة روح القدس الفرق بين الناس اللي بيأخذوا روح القدس والناس اللي ما بيأخذوا روح القدس So the first example I gave you is the Lord Jesus made the disciples bishops Repeat after me The, 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 the Lord Jesus made the disciples bishops Example number two Repeat after me The Lord Jesus 
sends us the gift of the Holy Spirit through the liturgy so we can receive the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Example number three, repeat after me. We also receive the gift of the Holy Spirit through the baptism. Brothers and sisters, the gift of the Holy Spirit is around us. The gift of the Holy Spirit will be with us and attached with you. Let me give you one more quick answer about the power of the gift of the Holy Spirit. Because I can't be giving you everything because it'll take a long time. St. Paul tells us in his letter, his first letter of Corinthians, chapter 12, he says, no one can say the Lord Jesus is God without the gift of the Holy Spirit. Yul Qaddis Bulus al-Rasul bi risaltu ilani al-Qurantas al-Ula sahaha 12 ما في إنسان بيقدر يقول عن الرب يسوع المسيح إله إلا بواسطة الروح القدس. فما تتعجبوا على الناس اللي ما بيأمنوا بالمسيح لأنه ما في روح القدس فيهم. You cannot say the Lord Jesus is God and proclaim it if the Holy Spirit is not in you. The gift of the Holy Spirit in you gives you the power to proclaim loud and clear that the Lord Jesus is the Son of God and is our Savior forever. The Holy Spirit. What does the Holy Spirit gives us? Shub ya'tina ila ruhu al-Qudus. Min shub hada al-mawdu'a برسالة قديس بولس الرسول إلهي لغلاطيا إصحاح الخامس على الـ 21 و 22 ثمار الروح القدس. We also see the fruit of the gift of the Holy Spirit in the letter of St. Paul to the Galatian chapter 5 verse 21 and 22. The fruit of the gift of the Holy Spirit. There's nine of them. We're going to say them together. There's nine fruit of the Spirit. We, there's nine of them today. I'm going to say them all. But I'm only going to explain only two. So I could save some time and go on with the letters. But this is Repeat after me. The first fruit. Love. You didn't say it well. Love. 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 You cannot love anyone. It will be a fake love if the gift and the fruit of the Holy Spirit is not in you. In other words, is the fruit of the gift of the Holy Spirit makes you to love every person no matter what that person did to you. Those who are not Christians, love means, as long as you respect me, I will love you. For us as a Christian, is, it's different. You don't love me, I love you. You don't care about me, I love you. You're not going to help me, I love you. You love. No condition. Mafia. حدود للمحب محبة محبة لها السبب في كثير ناس بيقولوا عنا نحن المسيحيين إنه محبتنا مش مثل محبة الآخرين نعم محبتنا هي نابعة من الروح القدس مش من قلبك صدقني مش من قلبك لأنه كمان الغير مسيحي عنده قلب مثلك 
وعنده عقل مثلك وعنده ذهن مثلك وبيحكي مثلك وبيمشي مثلك بس الفرق بينك وبينه انه انت بقلبك في روح قدس المعزي عم بيعطيك النعمه والقوه والبركه لتحب الاخرين بكل ما لديك بكل ما لديك ان نحب بعضنا البعض to for us to love one another. I know there's sometimes there's misunderstanding between family, brothers, sisters, church members. Please, listen to me carefully. Listen to me very carefully. If you belong to the church here in Corona, and if you want to be a member of the church in Corona, you have to love each other no matter what. Otherwise, find yourself another place to go to. I will not accept members if they don't love one another. Doesn't matter who you are. Doesn't matter what they did to you yesterday, last month, a year ago. Move on and put that love in your head. Put that love in your head so love can flourish in you and you can give love to every person that you see on a daily basis. Love. Mahabi. Mahabatna. Hak your line. Allah is a man. But my hab was. Hak your line. Now I can sit now. Hak your alabat. Nahki alabatna. Himna. In some mardi. Hib. Shaks and the hack alek. Hibu actor. Men is shaks and the hib back. لانه اذا انت حبيت الشخص اللي حكى عليك بتكون انت عم بتحط كنوز لك بالسماء وكنوزك بالسماء عم بتزيد اذا بتحب الناس اللي ما بيحبوك نمبر 2 ريبيت افتر مي جوي فرح جوي اف يو هاف ذا جيفت اوف ذا هولي سبيريت You are joyful every day. There's something in you that cannot stop you from smiling. There's something in you cannot stop you from doing what you need to do for your church and for your family. They tell you, they tell you, aren't you tired of cooking for the church? Aren't you tired of cleaning the church? Aren't you tired of remodeling the church? Aren't you tired of doing this to the homeless? Aren't you tired of doing this and that? The answer is no, I have joy. This kind of works give me joy. And I'm very joyful and thankful for God's gift. Allah is not a baby. And the swan is 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 a ما تعبتوا انه دائما بتجيبوا شيء للكنيسه؟ ما بتب... ما, ما تعبتوا انه مرات مثلا بتنظفوا الكنيسه مثلا؟ اللي بيقول لك ما تعبت ابتسم له قل له تعال نتعب مع بعض. تعال ساعدني. تعال نطبخ للكنيسه، نشتغل للكنيسه. تعال نساعد بعضنا. اما اذا قلنا وهيدي الكلمة المشهورة عند الناس معلش طولت عليكم بس تحملوا شوي. إنه أنا كنت نظف، أنا كنت أشتغل، أنا كنت سوي، أنا كنت 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 كنت. يعني وكأنه أنت عم تقول له يا ربي كل شيء في الكنوز عندك فوق نزلها ورميها إلى الهاوية. القديس بولس الرسول بيقول إذا بدك تشتغل بدك تشتغل للنهاية. St. Paul tells us, if you're, gonna, if you're going to work and do something good, 
There's no limit time that you could do. You gotta keep doing it. You wanna cook, you gotta keep cooking. You gotta clean, you gotta keep cleaning. You wanna pledge for the church and give donation? You gotta continue pledging and giving donation to the church. You cannot stop. If you, if you stop, it means you are ending your eternal life with God. And you're asking God to dump everything you have done in the past. Because whatever you've done in the past is over. Number three. Repeat after me. Pay attention. Peace. Peace. No, you didn't say it well. Peace. Peace. Salaf. You have some peace of mind inside of you. You want a peace? You want to feel peaceful? It's not your anxiety pill. It's not your vitamin. It's not your exercise. It's not the food that you eat. It's the gift of the Holy Spirit. ما في سلام من دون روح القدس. اليوم في كآبة كتير عند الناس. كل ما أحكي مع عشر أشخاص ثلاث أشخاص يعبون الصلي لي عايش بكآبة. شو صار؟ من وين جبتوا الكآبة على حالكم؟ جبتوا الكآبة على حالكم من إنك الصلاة والإيمان. صدقوني. الكئيب يعني إنسان ما بيعرف المسيح. الكئيب اللي ما بيعرف يصلي الكئيب اللي دائما عم بينق انه هو كئيب 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 فسيبقى كئيبا الى الابد لانه المسيح بقى لنا لا تخافوا لا تخافوا انا معكم الى منتهى الدهر لا تخافوا يا ايها الانسان ما تخاف Don't worry The Lord Jesus said I am with you If the Lord Jesus is in you anxiety is out of you Anxiety and the Lord Jesus do not meet in one place. They don't work in one place. Either you have the Lord Jesus in you or you have anxiety. You pick and choose. It's up to you. Number four, repeat after me. Patience. 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 Don't have short patience to your fellow friend and family and friends and, and people you have here in church, especially members. You have to have patience for one another. And I think you know what I'm talking about. Patience, relax. Don't come to me and say, she said this, he said that, they did this. Patience. Patience is what keep God in you. أطول الأنات أطول تلقى طول شوي ما تطلع العصبية تبعك لأنه أنت عندك مشكلة ببيتك وجاي تشلحها مشكلتك على البركنيسة ومع أصدقائك لا إذا أنت إنسان تكهربت من موضوع الماء في مكان الماء تجي على الكنيسة يطول بالك يطول بالك number five we're almost there repeat after me kindness Look, cool Latif. You have to be kind to every person. Ask yourself, were you kind to someone yesterday? Or were you not kind to someone yesterday? You know what you're gonna do every day? I'm gonna provide you with a copy very soon, the next two weeks. And you're gonna take this home with you and put it right by your bed or on your desk, anywhere you want to put it. As long as you read it, that's all I care about. Okay? Even if you put it in the kitchen, I don't care. Anywhere you want. Every day, read the nine, and see where did you lack your day in one of the nine. And wipe the dust on those nine. So every day you become a better person. All right, number six. Repeat after me. I want to hear you. Goodness. Goodness. Salah. Goodness. The fruit of the gift of the Holy Spirit gives you a goodness. You are a good person. And I know, I know there's a lot of you here who are good. Or some are working to become good. God bless you. Keep going. You have to be good. If you're not good, heaven is not for you. Number seven. 
Gentleness. Gentleness. What that? You have to be wadia, humble. You've got to be a humble person. Humble yourself, no matter what. So God can give you what is in your hand. Number eight, repeat after me. Faithfulness. Faithfulness. Amen. Amen. You gotta have faith. Some people say, uh, Abuna, my faith is not that good. Because the gift of the Holy Spirit in you, but it's it's not you're not allowing it to to be active. You have to have faith. Everything that you do requires faith. Repeat after me. Everything that I do, that I do requires, requires faith. faith. I must believe. Repeat after me. I must believe, I must believe that the Lord Jesus Christ, Lord Jesus Christ is my Lord, and Savior. And my Lord and Savior. You have to have that faith. لازم تأمن. إيمانك ضعيف. اشتغل على حالك. مش لأنه معموديتك كان باطل لا. لأنه في شوية غبرة على إيمانك. شيل هالغبرة. زيح الغبرة من إيمانك. Sully. Number nine. And finally. 